Okay, the last cutscene. As soon as we're the arms come in here, take the box. And now we can try to teleport Alex to the button. Do not teleport her through this door. If you do that, you will not be able to go through the door yourself. And the soft lock. So just let her go in. This is bound on dialogue anyway. Just take the box with you and do nothing for now. So they are going to talk a bit. And after they are done... We will not teleport Alex. You could try, I guess, but there's a like, better way where we get into this room around like this, and Alex will start running towards us. Normally. <laughs> I just completely got stuck. Wow. Anyway, try to teleport her to the button from here. She should run if you stand around this place. Get in here. Just don't block her. I, you could teleport her in here, but that's really not worth it, in my opinion. But if you block her, instead of teleporting her, it costs so much time because she does some weird stuff. So now we're here. Can teleport her but i don't think this this one actually matters but the rest doesn't really until the exit so let's actually time scale this once again and once again this is not this is not a run you are allowed in the, to use a command i mean so as soon as he opens the thing then the use button so it presses it immediately the rocket launch and as soon as they start moving this way, can start teleporting. This doesn't really save time because once again they wait for dialogues. Eli also doesn't save time if this teleport doesn't get in here. And I think the next one actually does save time. So don't block, Al block Alex on the step. There's a step here. Let her go up first and then teleport her in. Alright. Not teleporting Alex here. The next part also doesn't matter, so whatever. Once we're done, teleport Eli. It's okay. Once again, nothing important here. The next ones actually do matter. We want to. My Eli, by the way. <laughs> teleport them towards the door. You can actually teleport them all the way from here. If you get the teleport. If not, I like this. If not, they would stop there and do this talk. It's, it's okay. I don't think this saves actually any time, really. If you don't get the full teleport. They stop, just teleport them from there. Towards the door. We'll open it. Now you can teleport them towards this place. We'll trigger the next dialogue. Be careful not to mess around too much with items in this elevator. You can't soft lock the game still. There's also a soft lock right on the last tick, which is really unfortunate. So, yeah. I might try to actually get it. Let's see. Try to teleport them in. And if you put any items below the elevator or something, you can soft lock this. You can also kill Eli, which happened to Chili. Pretty bad. Okay, I think if you teleport them out here, you can soft lock the game in the last sec. Nah. Anyway, so. Anyway, just walk be behind them, trigger the cutscene, and the crosshair disappears. Timer stops, and your run is done. This is not part of the run anymore, so you technically can can just stop. And that's pretty much it. You just completed episode two.